Tequila, it might be happening. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Today I'm doing a Meet the Author with an elementary school and it's virtual, so I'm doing a book reading. I am reading this book, Mover Shakers, History Makers. It's been a crazy morning, so now I'm just getting ready. It starts in nine minutes, so I'm good. Hi! Good morning! Good morning. How are you? I'm, I'm good, and you? Good, good. We're really excited to have you. Oh, well, I'm excited to, uh, to chat with the kids this morning. Okay, so I'll start. Hi everyone. I'm very pleased to see all you all here today. We've invited Akila Newton to meet you all. Akila is an activist, entrepreneur, and author. And she's here today to speak about her work as an author and to present her book today. So when I was a young girl in elementary school, I actually went to Greendale, which is now called Kingsdale. Uh, so I was around your age, I was about 10, 11 years old. Uh, I actually never learned about Canadian Black history when I was in school. We learned about Quebec history, we learned about Canadian history, but for some reason, uh, Black history was left out of the equation. So as I grew older uh, and I went to high school, Black History Month was finally recognized in Canada in 1996, and at that point I was in grade 10. So we finally started learning about black history at school. However, we weren't learning about Canadians. We were learning about our neighbors in the United States. So about 20 years later, after I you know, graduated um, high school, graduated CJA, graduated university, uh, I went on to start an organization called Overture with the Arts. Uh, and for the past 13 years, We've gone in schools and we've also offered after school programs where we're making the arts accessible. I basically made it my mission to start educating youth and educating adults as well about the incredible achievements of Black Canadians. Uh, and then in October 2018, this first book, Big Dreamers, the Canadian Black History Activity Book for Kids, came out. Then I came out with volume two. So although my books were doing so well and a lot of schools were carrying them, a lot of libraries were telling me that they love the content and they think the information needs to be shared, but they can't carry activity books in libraries because kids write in them. So a light bulb went off. I was like, oh, wait a second. Well, what I'll do then is a full color rhyming storybook. So this book, my third book that just came out in November of 2020, uh, is essentially the same 26 people in volume one, but I'm telling the story in a different way. It's really fun rhyming verses, beautiful illustrations, and I'm gonna read this book to you today. Uh, and at the end, you guys will have a chance to ask me tons of questions. So I'm gonna get started with the first page. And Claire Cool. Ferguson Arthur Jenkins. Kay Livingstone. Portia White. He performed with jazz legends like Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. Conductors guided them to safety, taking many trips back and forth. Viola Desmond, who's a real groundbreaker. So that is Mover Shakers History Makers. Uh, so I'm now going to let you guys unmute in case you have any questions and I will happily answer them. Um, hi, my question is, was it hard making that book? So the only thing that was a little bit tricky, but I wouldn't say hard about writing Mover Shakers is making everything rhyme. You have to be one black person, who would you be? Do you mean someone from my book? Yeah. Uh, Viola Desmond. Um, 
she's just phenomenal to me. A lot of people just know her because she's on the $10 bill. What a lot of people don't know is she was also a successful businesswoman in the 1930s and 1940s. So to be a female businesswoman back then was, you know, very, very hard. And then adding on the fact that she was a black female businesswoman was nearly unheard of. So I absolutely love Viola Desmond's story. Tell me other books. Um, are you inspired to write more books in the future? I'm already working on actually three more books. <laughs> I'm going to release Big Dreamers Volume 3 next year in 2022. And that's probably going to be the third and final book of the series. Which was your favorite book out of all those four that you wrote? Movers, Shakers, History Makers, because I really enjoy writing uh, rhyming verses. It was really fun to work on. Did you discover someone new when you were doing research that you didn't know? Yes, I absolutely did. Although I knew about, you know, quite a few people uh, that have contributed to this great nation, I learned about so many more amazing stories that I had never heard of. And honestly, I learned about so many stories that this is why I'm doing a volume three, because there's just, I have so many more stories that I want to share. What's your favorite part about book three? One of my favorite rhyming pages in this book is probably... Oscar Peterson or Harriet Tubman. I just really love those pages and I'm also really inspired by both of them. Thank you so much for listening. You were great listeners. Your questions were incredible. I had such a good time with you. I hope I can maybe come visit you guys when I have my next books next year. So thank you so, so much. Have a great rest of the year. And that's a wrap. All right, I have another one of these tomorrow morning, but I like doing them, they're really fun. So now I have to go to the office because uh, I have a bunch of art kits that I have to pack for Overture with the Arts. So I'm gonna change, uh, then head out in a few minutes. We are piecing together art kits that we're gonna distribute to kids in the West Island because we got funding through Overture with the Arts to give them out. So Munchkin is here helping put them together. Hello. And Catherine, who's Overture with the Arts' um, event manager, is here as well to lend a hand. So we've got about 200 to piece together and that's the plan for today. Tequila, it might be happening. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, baby. <laughs> so Buddy finished all of his goodies and I think he's pissed off at me. <laughs> Cause look, he flipped the cup out of the little picnic table and now he's just kind of hovering like, hey mom, where's my food? Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, Buddy, I know you're hungry. Okay, here you go. Oh my god.